there are two types of leaders. Those who claim to be leaders and those who show true leadership. These two types of leaders basically run the world. Which type of leader they choose to become determines whether we we'll have more problems than solutions in this world. People portrayed in the media as leaders are not all leaders. It's hard for people to understand that just because they are famous or popular does not mean they are fit to be in a position of leadership. People who claim and not show sure they are leaders flash their titles around because they have no actual accomplishments. True leadership is about empowerment and justice. It's as simple as that. I want you to understand that leadership can get complicated and twisted, especially today with the people we see leading this world. In your own life, do you live by true leadership or call yourself a leader by hiding behind numerous titles? People that are portrayed as leaders are the ones who manipulate and force things to go their way by making us think it's what we wanted. They believe they have the authority to twist people any way they want. With words alone, they have the ability to twist your beliefs for their own benefits. True leaders work to create other leaders, not followers. A true leader says, let's make things happen and stick to his word. They do not possibly force people to do their own bidding. A true leader says, we can do it and involves the people. A true leader focuses on molding the next generation of leaders, not profits or re-election. True leaders never manipulate but inspire. Leadership is not about how powerful people think you are. It's about purpose and empowerment. True leadership is not about control but service. The people they serve will walk away empowered and ready to continue service to others. This means that True leadership is about equipping people with purpose. Leadership is not about definition of greatness or becoming a greatest. Leadership has to do with discovering your strengths, weaknesses, and working on them day in and day out. It's about empowering yourself and others. The most dangerous thing about today's leaders is they are leading without principles. These are political leaders, pastors, youth leaders, and organizations leaders. Politics without principles have destroyed our world. They are power-hungry people who do not hesitate to incite harm to others. Their purpose and focus is not about empowering the people, it's about themselves. If you are in a position of leadership, you should never focus on popularity or media attention. Your focus should be about purpose, passion, vision, character, and principle. Ask yourself these questions. What is your purpose? What is your vision for the people you are leading? What is your passion? Do you care more about staying in power so you can win the next election? Have you forgotten your principles? Are you wavering in your standards? Are you determined to stay true to the people? your country, 
and the next generation for the sake of the well-being of the nation. These are questions you need to continuously ask yourselves as someone in a position of leadership. Listen to me, to first become a leader, you need to have a strong concrete foundation that will not crumble at the first sight of the big bad wolf. Being re-elected is only wonderful if you have stuck to your principles and done more good than bad for the people. Not because you were the last resort or the only decent choice. The best leader know when to pass on the torch to the next generation. They don't simply hold on to power because they can. That's manipulation. They know they have done the best they could and pass on their wisdom and knowledge for the next generation to continue the fight. I have come to the realization that what we need is no more politicians with their lies. What we need is the right figure to lead the people. A person who strives for purpose, that purpose being the future, the next generation, youth and children. True leadership is not about maintaining followers, but producing the next generation of leaders. People might go to the tree that says it has ripe fruits, but when you take a bite, it is hard and bitter. Trees who truly bear ripe fruits attract people to take a bite and are nourished and choose to take another bite. It does attract you with its force front claiming to be what it is not. Do not simply follow the tree that just looks good and is enticing you to bite the apple as the snake did to eat. Choose to eat from the trees who both look ripe and bear ripe, nutritious, wise food. The same with leaders. Look for leaders who will feed and satisfy your hunger. Look for leaders who will bear red fruits today, tomorrow, and all the days of their life. In everything they do, look for leaders who treat everyone with respect and as equals. Look for leaders who will feed your strive for purpose, empowerment, and justice.